Hello, Internet. Okay, uh, so yes, it's uh, time for another unboxing video. This one's from March. It's April now. I'm late again. Anyway, we do have another horror pack to unbox, which you'll see I have not opened yet. Um, this, again, is a monthly pack that you get. Now, they have plans for DVDs and Blu-rays. I get the Blu-rays. They offer a thing for DVDs that where the movies are completely different and everything like that. And if you're into, um, if you're into, if you're into collecting both, you can get both and, you know, get eight movies a month or whatever. I just get the Blu-rays because I don't really find myself delving into my old DVDs that much unless it's something that you cannot get, um, through high definition, uh, via Blu-ray, streaming, that kind of thing. So, but I do still do the Blu-ray. It's like one of the only uh, Blu-ray expenses I do anymore. And uh, now we're going to take a look at the March unboxing for these. I have not looked at any of the other videos. I have no idea what is in this thing. This is the horror pack for March, which I am recording in April because I said so. That's why. So, <laughs> Let's take a look here. This. Okay. And as always, I try to... Ooh, I think I just got a little peek of what, I, what I'm getting here. But I try to pick the uh, horror... You get a horror pack exclusive, exclusive in each of these. And the I tried to save that for last. See, that's the cool thing is that these movies, they usually give you a nice little mix. Sometimes there's a mainstream thing in there, but usually they focus on uh, indie horror and everything like that so that you get a nice mix of, of material. Uh, four things per month usually uh, is in there. And uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look here. This one uh, starting out is... Okay, now this actually, this I'm guessing this is actually uh, a move. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say this is a film from a few years back, like s several years back, we'll say, uh, and early part of the 2000s. I'm going to guess, and because I'm reason I'm saying that is the cast. The cast is made up of people who would be big in the early 2000s, uh, big now. And big in, like, the 90s. We have Leighton Meester. Remember her? I, I, I like her. And uh, Kaylee Cuoco from uh, Big Bang Theory. More importantly, from Harley Quinn, which is an amazing show. Uh, Jason London and Nestor Carvanel in Killer Movie. And just making sure that wasn't backwards on the screen there. I like, didn't know how I had this set up, actually. And so, yeah, we got a killer movie. Let's take a look at this. In the world of reality TV. Okay, that's usually a, a, a red flag for me that I... It's a trope that they've tried to really incorporate reality TV in the horror movie thing for, like, 30 years now. And usually it doesn't work out. But sometimes it does. So let's take a look here. In the world of reality TV, producer Seton Brookstone is used to handling spoiled celebrities, testy crews, and unexpected setbacks, but no one is prepared when the shooting crew finds itself s stranded in a North American town. Okay, and now here's where we have a little thing of blocking. So, North American town with giant killer unicorns. I'm just going to guess that that's what this is uh, over this tag here. You know, make it really interesting. But yeah, okay, so it's about a giant killer unicorn. Sure it is. Yeah, whatever. It's a killer movie, but it looks fun. It looks like a fun movie. We'll do that one. The next one is ooh, okay. I, I get confused about, and I this is this is nice because it gives me a little completion to my Blu-ray. Now, uh, I have the Critters box set from Shout Factory, uh, Screen Factory, uh, which is lovely. You know, four movies in there, but they started doing a couple more Critters things. They did a show for for um, a limited series for Shudder uh, that was basically like a movie that they split into like little mini-sodes. And I can't remember if that's this or if that is, or if or if this is the other movie that they did. Because they did like another movie, I think, as well. 
starring our lovely D. Wallace and several other great people, and that is Critters Attack! Critters Attack! So now I have five Critters movies on Blu-ray. This is great. I mean, I loved the original ones that were in the theaters. I saw the, 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 the two that went to theaters, the first two. I saw them both in the theaters way back in the day. You know, and I'm, I, I love Critters. Must kill Krites. So this is cool. Critters attack. I'm going to be loading this one into the old Blu-ray player for sure. This is, I love monster movies. I love tiny monster movies. I love Gremlins knockoffs. And Critters was, I'm not going to say the best because it's usually a, a toss up between this and Ghoulies. But uh, <laughs> Critters was a great entry in the Gremlins uh, knockoff. Okay. Okay, um, oh, this is one stars Eric Roberts. Hey, that's new. Um, <laughs> this one is called Child of Satan. And um, I'm not going to make any um, any jokes uh, but that, that are going to uh, show my uh, political leanings or anything. But, yeah. Okay, so it's, um, it's uh, uh, Eric Roberts, Casey Clark, and Kate Upton. Is that how you spell? Is that how she spells her name? Kate? Kate? Okay. Or is that a different Kate? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, Child of Satan. Let's see. Looking like a Rosemary's Baby omen type thing. Let's take a look here. Very short description on the back. After an accident during her baby shower, Allison, a dedicated nurse, is rushed to the hospital. After the birth of her son, strange events occur, vivid dreams, and unexplained killings. So, yeah. I think I called it, you know, you know, child of Satan, Rosemary's baby, omen, your child's the devil, mm. child of Satan is, what's going on, and I want to also, like, mo mention that some of these have, uh, this one does not have a, a ton of extras, but the other ones that we've looked at do, uh, Killer Movie has a behind the scenes thing on it, and, uh, Critters Attack. Let's take another look at this. Not only is there a slip cover you can see on there, but we've got special features, engineering gore, critters, and out of this world experience, the Critter Ball. And, oh, th that means they bring back the Critter Ball from Critters 2. That's cool. Uh, and uh, a, a scene-specific commentary with, <laughs> with uh, Miller. That would be the uh, director, Bobby Miller, and a Critter. So I guess the critter is on the commentary track. Well, if that isn't worth, if that isn't worth your monthly monthly fee alone, I don't know what is. Okay. Speaking of which, now we go to the exclusive. And oh, I've actually heard this one. Heard of this one. This was a, uh, uh, and this is the horror pack limited edition. These are um, this is an exclusive. I always try to save this for the last. This is an exclusive that um, shows up in the pack, and you can't get it anywhere else. And Maybe it's been released elsewhere. Usually it hasn't. If it has, it has not been released with this packaging, not with these extras. And so this is After Dark, uh, and which I have seen around here and I've heard really good things about. Um, this one is, says here, Spring Break, never a good sign. <laughs> Horror movie, never a good sign. Good sign in the teen sex comedy, not a good sign in a teen horror movie. <laughs> Spring break for seven college students is de is derailed with one wrong turn. A flat you see you see they're them trying to recall the wrong turn movies there. Okay. A flat tire on a deserted road leaves them stranded after dark in the company of a menacing drifter who may or may not be trying to help. As night falls and friends start to disappear, those that remain are forced to head into the open desert to find help or become the victims of an unseen killer. So yeah, I've, as I said, I've heard of this one. I've heard good things. After Dark, it's the uh, Horror Pack exclusive for March. So we got After Dark. We've got Killer Movie. We've got Critters Attack. And we've got Child of Satan. And so those are the those are the horror packs for March. I'm sorry it took me a while. There's issues, okay? That's why it takes me some time, a longer time to uh, actually get my 
stuff together and shoot these. Okay, one more thing, real quick. It's not a horror film. One more thing, real quick. You may recall uh, last time I, I showed you the one extra Blu-ray expense I did, which was a like a John Hughes pack and stuff. Well, I did another one because uh, a movie, it's one of my favorite movies, and it was coming out on Blu-ray in a nice little Criterion edition. And it's like I said, it's not a horror movie, but I want to share it because, like I said, it's one of the greatest films of all time. Every time this movie was is on, I have to watch it. Every it's it's I get a, an urge to see it at least a few times a year. It's it's funny, it's thoughtful, it's beautiful. I love it, and it is the brilliant defending your life, uh, directed and starring Albert Brooks, who is just a genius. And this one, of course, being a Criterion is going to have about the best picture quality you can imagine. Uh, it's got like all these audio tracks, which are really, which would be mean, uh, audio tracks, which would mean a lot if I wasn't dealing with a standard stereo system here. Uh, we've also got uh, extras include new conversation between uh, Albert Brooks and filmmakers Robert Wade, uh, new interview with theologian and critic uh, Donna Bowman about Albert Brooks's vision of the afterlife. A new program featuring excerpts from interviews conducted in 1991 with Brooks and actors Lee Grant and Rip Torn. So yeah, this is, um, oh, and uh, uh, an essay by filmmaker Ari, Ari Oster. Okay, maybe it is a horror thing. Ari Oster supplies a, uh, uh, a, uh, <laughs> a, a uh, essay for this. I didn't even know that when I pre-ordered that. That's wild. Def on this lighthearted thing. That guy. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, this is a wonderful movie. Uh, Albert Brooks, uh, Meryl Streep, Rip Torn, Buck Henry, Lee Grant, so many amazing people uh, defending your life. So that's my little extra of the month. And so that we got that, and that's all of our extra stuff. I could tell you I'll try to get the next one out on time, and I will. I will try to get the next one out on time. I can't tell you that I'll succeed, but I will try. Um, things are kind of shaping up here, over here. I got fully vaccinated, so I am going to go out and lick all my friends. You know who you are. And thanks so much for uh, sticking with these videos and everything. Uh, I appreciate it, and hopefully you have a good time with them, and I will see you on the next unboxing.